Hi, in this video, I'm gonna talk about transitions between pages in React. This is a single page React app, but it acts like it has many pages. I have different URLs that show different pages and I can navigate them here. And I want to add some transition between these pages. I already have my routing set up. I have my, the browser router in the index.js and I have uh, the switch and the different routes set up here in app.js. These are the components that I want to add the transition to. I can do it manually uh, or I can set, uh, set up one component, a higher order component that will wrap them and uh, it will take care of the transition. Now uh, you can set up your own transitions, you can use transition libraries and since I'm using the material UI library I'm gonna use the transitions that come with it. If I open uh, the material UI transitions page, I notice different transitions. There's the collapse fade, and I'm gonna go with slide to start with. And uh, if we see the API for slide, we need to, of course, have our uh, material UI library installed, and we need to import slide from there. So let's set up a higher order component. You can set it up elsewhere, but since I'm gonna use it more than once and it's of the higher order components, I'm gonna add it here in the hub file. Let's create a folder called page shell. That's the convention used by most programmers, by the way. They call it page shell. This is page shell.js. Again, you can add it in any folder you want and you can name it anything you want. And I'm gonna import React from React and I'm gonna create a const page shell and it takes the page as an argument. Now I'm gonna modify this later on. Here in the page shell, I will also add return, it will take some props. And accordingly, I will add the transitions that I want. Now I will start with the slide uh, transition and therefore I need to import slide from material UI library. That's it. I've imported it and I will start with slide. And the slide is supposed to wrap a div with this div containing the page component. I passed the page here. This is the page component and I'm passing it here. It will wrap the page component with its props. So I will expand the props and it's a self-closing component. That's enough for it. And I can notice I'm passing here this as an argument. This is the page, it goes here. And I need to set up a few other things. For example, I can set my direction and it's equal to left. And most important, I need to add in equals true. This will allow it to animate. Without in equals true, it will not show the animation. I'll also export this as a default, so export default page shell, and I'll save again. Now I'll go to app.js and wrap these and wrap these pages with the component that I just created. So I need to import page shell from the hub folder, and there I have the page shell page shell. Let's add page shell here. So now I have page shell as my component. It's the component that I'm returning and it's wrapping the page that I want. So it's wrapping project. I'll do this for the others as well. And you can uh, in uh, VS Code uh, use the alt to select multiple positions, page shell, and I'm gonna close these. So now page shell is wrapping the page. If I go to my React app, I can notice that these are animated now. There's a transition, there's some form of transition. So this is set up. The basics are there. We can modify it a bit to change the direction, for example. So I'll go to page shell again, to page shell.js. And here in page shell, I'm gonna add direction. So I now have page and direction. It's receiving page and direction. Notice that I usually use variables with the lower case that start with the lower case, but since this is a component, I used an uppercase. It started with an, with an uppercase. So here I'm gonna 
I have the direction and instead of having it hard coded as left, I'll change it to direction equals direction. So it will take the value that I passed here. Let's go back to app.js and in app.js, now I'm gonna change the direction. So next to the page or the component that I have, I'm gonna add left here. I'm gonna add the up, it's a string down and right of course usually we go for a more uniform uh, animation this is just for demo purposes and now these are animated in different ways so this looks good if i'm sticking to slide and i just want to change the direction this is so good but i might want to do more i might want to change the animation, the transition as a whole between different pages. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to modify the page shell again to accommodate for this. And now I'm going to add here a transition type. Again, this started with a capital letter with an uppercase because it will be a component. So instead of slide, I'm passing this transition type. And I will pass here transition type and I'm gonna close transition type so I've replaced slide with something that I'm passing I'm not using slide here anymore and uh, in fact I can remove it I can't even pass slide as a string and then uh, decode it here it will be uh, very messy to do it so I'll just pass the component just like I'm passing the page therefore an app.js I will import some transition components and I'm going to import zoom from, from the material UI library, so zoom, and I'm going to import other animations as well, so let's copy this and uh, Let's change these. Ctrl D would select two strings that are similar, so I can change these together. And again, I'll select this. Ctrl D in VS Code, and I will change this to slide. Now, this isn't complete. I have here projects, and I have the pages, and I have the direction for these, for the slide, but I still need to add the transition component here. And therefore, for projects, I keep it slide left. And I'm following the order that I set up here. So this is page transition type and followed by the direction if I have it. So this is slide. For this, I use zoom. And for this one, I use grow. And here for the home page, I'm going to use slide and keep it right now since in zoom and in grow i don't have directions i can delete these so let's delete them let's save this one and check now so contact us is animated with the zoom transition home is animated with a slide transition just as we set them up so to sum it up we already had our routing set up we created a higher order component that would take the component that we want to set the transition for. It will also take the transition and uh, combine them. We also had the option to specify the direction or other props here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.